Packing up for your backpacking trip seems easy enough. Just decide what you're bringing and throw it into your backpack. But very quickly into the trip, you realize just throwing things into your backpack can cause a ton of frustration. So in this video, we're going over a few mistakes that new backpackers make packing up and how to solve it. These mistakes are in no particular order, but one of the biggest mistakes that I see people make is that they put their shelter, whatever that shelter might be, inside their backpack first when they are packing up. So when you get to camp, maybe it's raining, maybe there's mud all over the place and it's just messy and you are tired. The last thing that you want to do is pull out all of your gear to get to the first thing that you want to pull out of your pack. So put that shelter on the inside of your backpack towards the top as high as you can get it or uh, maybe strap it to the outside of your backpack but make it accessible right away when you get to camp so that you've got a place, you've got that living space to put all of your gear when you get to camp. As a matter of fact, you really wanna pack up all of your gear in the order that you're gonna take it out. So kind of think through your trip and when you get to camp, like what are the first few things that I'm gonna to wanna to pull out when I get to camp? I can tell you right away, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to pull out is your shelter. Okay, another mistake that a lot of people make is with their water filter. They will put it in a location that is really difficult to get to. So what I do is I will take my water filter and I will put it um, on the actual bottle that I am using to filter so that it's easily accessible every time I stop when I need to filter water. You don't want to have to dig through your backpack, empty out your entire backpack. It's already enough work to try to filter water when you're backpacking. Another mistake that I see a lot of new backpackers make is that after a long night of rain or when their tent is very wet in the morning, they will pack up their tent and put it into the same stuff sack as their rain fly. The rain fly is going to get the tent wet and you don't want that because you want your tent to stay dry for you to sleep in. Um, that's the whole point of a rain fly. So uh, what you're gonna wanna do is uh, when you're packing up your gear in the morning, take that rain fly, dry it out as much as you can. Maybe you brought a towel, maybe you're gonna shake it out. Maybe you're gonna lay it over a branch in the sunlight. That's what I like to do just to kind of dry it out for a little bit. And then you're going to keep it completely separate by putting it on the outside of your backpack or into a completely separate stuff sack altogether. I used a tent this past weekend, uh, car camping actually, that um, I noticed made that job very easy. Um, it's by Sea to Summit. This is the Sea to Summit. Alto TR2, what they've done, which is really cool, is they've put this uh, tent into two separate stuff sacks so you never have to worry about that problem. You got your rain fly here and you have your actual tent here. So that's really nice. You're never gonna forget to not put them into the same stuff sack so that you have wet gear the next time you take it out at camp. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm actually going to do um, a first impressions review, sort of a review, of this tent coming up very soon. And you can find this tent, which is where I got it, over at Backcountry. And as a matter of fact, Backcountry uh, probably could actually help you with your packing of your gear appropriately because they have what are called gearheads over there. And the gearheads are former Olympians, they're former trail guides, and former athletes who most of them have likely backpacked before or packed a backpack up for longer trips and would be more than happy to geek out on the gear that you want to bring for your backpacking trip and how to pack it in there. So they've actually given me a coupon code. It's DANB15 for 15% off. Some exclusions do apply. So head over to Backcountry and maybe you can save a couple bucks. Another big mistake I see people make um, is in thinking that their backpack is waterproof or extremely water resistant to the point where they just shove their gear inside of it and uh, they depend solely on that backpack to keep their gear dry. This is a big mistake because I've had this happen to me where my backpack has completely wetted out and all of my gear on the inside was so wet that I actually had to bail on my trip because the weather was getting so bad. So an easy fix to any backpack is simply to put a pack liner inside of the backpack. And you don't even need to get expensive or even go out and buy one. You've already got one in your house. It's a garbage bag. You can literally take a kitchen garbage bag, put it inside of your backpack first before you put anything else inside of your backpack, then begin to put all the other gear inside of that garbage bag that you don't want to get wet. Roll that garbage bag up, shove it down into the bottom of your backpack, and there you go, all of your gear is now waterproof. Now this is a mistake that we don't really like to think about because it involves, well, injury. And if you do get injured or someone else gets injured on trail, you're not gonna wanna have to dig for your medical kit. So make sure that your medical kit, and hopefully you're bringing a medical kit, a proper medical kit for your trip, 
is actually in a location that you can find it easily. And it's also a good idea to let others know what your medical kit actually looks like and where it's at in your backpack so that they can find it if you're the one hurt and you need to tell them where to go get it. Okay, this is a big one, packing your fears. This is a huge mistake that especially newer backpackers make because they're really more worried about the what ifs when they get out there than they are about actually packing the right amount of gear for their trip. And this causes so many problems, especially being uncomfortable when you're hiking because your backpack is probably gonna weigh 10 times what you wanted it to weigh. <laughs> you're not gonna need the two extra flashlights. You're not gonna need multiple knives. You're not gonna need to bring that wrench. Why would you bring a wrench? To fix your Humvee, yeah. Unless you're bringing a Humvee. Yeah. No you might bring a Humvee. And in such case, bring a wrench. But don't pack your fears, because packing your fears will make that trip 10 times more uncomfortable. So just don't pack your fears. Just get comfortable with being uncomfortable so that you can be comfortable hiking by not packing too much stuff. So I understand that there's a ton of other mistakes that people can make packing up their gear. As a matter of fact, I have a recent video that I put out of me packing up my gear for an entire backpacking trip. And I literally go over as many mistakes and even show you how I pack up my gear piece by piece and even what gear I'm actually bringing on a backpacking trip. And if you think that video will help you, I will link that right up here to help you guys out. So if you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also subscribe for more. Make sure you hit the bell notification that I can send you a video every single time it's released. And I will see you on the next one.